Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set a click trigger for Divi overlays on a text link. And so uh, we have other tutorials on how to trigger uh, Divi overlays on click from a Divi button or any Divi section row or module. Uh, but in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to do it on a text link. So for example, uh, if you wanted to trigger on just part of the text here, um, you can't add the CSS, CSS ID to the entire module because that will trigger the Divi overlay on the entire module. And so uh, we want to do it just on one part of the text. And so I'm going to show you how to do that here. So the first thing you're going to do is copy the CSS ID to your clipboard. And so basically by adding the CSS ID to any element on the page, we can trigger a Divi overlay. And so within section rows and modules, Divi has a CSS ID field in the advanced tab, and we can easily paste it here. But for uh, a text link, it's a little bit trickier, but still very, very simple. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and enable the visual builder. And then we're going to open up this text module here. So this is a text module and you can do this anywhere there's text, whether it's a text module, whether it's a uh, blur module with the text field, uh, anywhere that has text, you can do what we're going to do. Now I'm gonna just add some more text that says see more. Now I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna insert the link. So we're gonna use the insert link button here that is in this text field. And then for the URL, we're gonna do hashtag open. Now, if you've watched the other tutorials on how to trigger from a Divi button or any Divi section row or module, we do the same thing for the URL for the link. We add hashtag open. It doesn't have to say open. It can say overlay. It can say whatever you want it to be, see more. Uh, but you do need this hashtag and you do need some text here because without this, uh, it's not going to know that it's a link. And so we, we need something here. So we're gonna go ahead and, and click OK, but we're not done yet. We need to go over here to the text field or the text tab of this text module and uh, add the CSS ID. And so this is getting into some very, very, very basic HTML. Uh, but what we're going to do is after the closing quotation before this bracket here, we're gonna just do a space and type ID, as in CSS ID, equal sign, open quote. Now we're gonna paste the CSS ID from Divi overlays and then end quote. And so I'm just gonna do that again just for repetition. So you can see that here. This is how the link looks uh, after. So you create the link on the text that you want, head over to the text tab and then after this quotation, before the bracket, we do a space ID equals first quote or open quote, paste, and then close quote. And so that adds the CSS ID so the browser knows where to put the Divi overlay click trigger. And so now we can, if we want, head back over here to the visual, uh, save that module. Now we're going to save the page here. Now let's go ahead and exit the visual builder. And we're gonna watch this in action on the page. So now we have this text, see more. And when we click it, it opens the Divi overlay. So very, very simple. It's just as simple as adding that. CSS ID to the link. And so we did that in a text module, but you could do the same thing uh, in a blurb module. Anywhere that has text, uh, you can do that um, on the page. It doesn't even have to be within the Divi Builder. If you have a blog post that's not using Divi, uh, you can still uh, trigger a, a Divi overlay pop-up with a text link. So that's it for this tutorial, and we will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.